Hi Leo, this is Vanshi and Vashan Shiloka. Let's see, what is your situation as a plan and what you need to hear from me? Leo is out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What you need to hear from me right now? Just one, okay? Alright. Leo is out there. Your first card is the Six of Wands, which is your energy as well. Oh, it has been tough. Okay, whatever that situation was, it was tough, you were struggling, it was a pure challenge. It was overwhelming you. But yet, I see you getting through. Okay? You're going to make it. You're going to bring about that success. It was tiring. But you were on the right path. You will succeed. Alright? You kept at it. How much ever uh, it was a disaster. It was just exhausting. You kept going. That's the beautiful part about your journey. You kept going. Even if it got tougher and tougher and tougher, you never gave up. That's a beautiful vibe to have. And you're going to succeed because of the effort. Because of you not giving up, you are going to succeed no matter what. Okay, that stability which you were working on is going to come about. Because you were willing to, you know, take the hard road. Beautiful energy. Um, some of you might be dealing with another Leo or probably a Sagittarius. Moving on, Leos out there. What else? Yes, this was the energy which I spoke about. You kept going. Okay, you were adamant about this. You, you stood your ground. How much you were hard it was, you stood your ground. It was difficult, but nothing made you stop. Again, a Sagittarius energy. Yes, because you were focused on how things should be for the future. Because you saw a potential to have this Ten of Pentacles, which is the ultimate stability, security, which one person could have. Because you have everything in this picture. You have your parents, you have your children, you have your significant other, you have your dogs, your cats. And the abundance which is hanging around as the coins. Financial abundance. Emotional happiness. Everything which you know, people strive for. And you have been working towards it with that goal in mind. Such a beautiful start to your reading videos. Some of you uh, might have been dealing with a uh, Virgo. Leo's out there. What else? What is your next card, please? Your next card is a four of pentacles. Some of you might have been uh, holding on to uh, something. Okay? Even if it felt like it wasn't worth it, you held on to it. There is a certain um, nine innocent energy about you. You might have been hurt in the past. You kept, you know, holding on to it. Uh, some of you might have been struggling financially. Okay? For some Leos are out there. You might have been, you know, working in a job, just for a minor, okay, because it's just coming through. Um, you might have been given a job, or you have been doing a job, which you were overqualified for, but you kept doing it. You kept going with it, okay, even if you were much more experienced. 
or much more qualified, you kept at it. Because uh, there is an aspect of financial, you know, financial aspect to it. The reason why you kept going to uh, going with it is because uh, you were struggling financially. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Yes, this has to do with your stability. Okay. You were convinced or you were convincing yourself. Again, a Leo energy. Okay, sorry. Leo energy with the strength card. You were convincing yourself that everything is going to be all right. It is going to pay off. It's almost sounding like a very philosophical reading. But this is how it's coming up. You were unsure about how things will, you know, evolve. But yet you kept convincing things will get better. And I feel like it is. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy, another Leo energy, or probably, what was that? A Capricorn energy. No, 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 sorry. Four of Wands, Aries energy. Leo's out there, what else? Yes, intuitively, this is not your next card, this is your next card. Intuitively, you knew that one day things will change. Okay? Your next card is this one. See, the hermit is assessing whatever was happening. You were assessing your life. You knew what you were up to. You knew where you were going. Okay? This person is somebody who looks at it. Everything from, you know, this, this hermit is shining the lamp in the dark. So he is looking at things, you know, to get a clear picture. And this hermit is looking towards, you know, how things are going in your past. But he is evaluating, analyzing, okay, where it should go. How things should evolve. Because this is how you want to be. If you were struggling with money, you know, you figured it out that one day things will change and you will be financially stable like the king of pentacles. This person is very well established. Financially, he doesn't have, even have to worry because he's abundant. This is what you were working towards and I see you winning. Whoever this reading is for has struggled. Okay? Has struggled. But things are getting better. Alright. Uh, some of you might be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus or a Virgo. Moving on. Leo's out there. There is something about making a decision. You were contemplating in regards to uh, how things should manifest for you. Yes. You are in charge. You, you are somebody who is um, wiser by the experience. When I'm looking at this emperor, king of pentacles, very, very mature. You're trying to make a decision in regards to where to go with this. How do I manifest my position in life? Whatever that hierophant is about. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with a strong Taurus energy or probably an Aries energy. Or a Libra as well. Yes, this is how things were. When I spoke about the struggle, this is where things were. Okay, not a good place to be in. You were struggling. Out in the cold, things weren't working out. But now you want to take charge of your life. Like the emperor. You're analyzing what's going on. How do I bring about this change? How do I win this? 
win my life, you know? How do I bring about that ten of pentacles in my life? How do I achieve all this? Strong Taurus energy. Okay, uh, Leo's under, what else? See, very analytical. Okay, like I said, very mature energy is coming through. Someone who has struggled, but you know where you're going. King of Swords is somebody who is very, uh, you know, sensible, logical, practical. Okay, he's very cutthroat. He's very fair. He doesn't mess up. Like he's not biased with his um, decisions. See, you're very practical in the way you are making your decisions. So there is something which is, you know, coming through because we got the Emperor, we got the King of Pentacles, we got the King of Swords. So some kind of a decision you are contemplating with regards to that Hierophant. When I showed you that Two of Swords, you're still contemplating how to, yes, you stressed out about this decision with this Nine of Swords. You know, some of you might be losing your sleep over this. How to... With this, a full card, full card is a new beginning. You know, taking a leap of faith. There is something which you're deciding, which is like, you know, something new. You know, you're taking charge of your life. It's, it's almost like it's about time that I bring about this change in my life. Because you're ready. And you're making that practical decision. How, how my life should be from here on. Card number zero, new beginnings. Okay, full card is card number zero, new beginnings. When I showed you the moon card, you were unaware. Okay, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hidden. The consequences are uncertain. Even when you're jumping off from the cliff, you're unsure whether you're going to break your bones or you're going to land on a cotton bed. So you stressed out, but yet there is something about taking your chances. I don't know. Some of you are deciding that it's about time I take this chance. Some of you might be dealing with the Gemini and Julio's out there. What else? I took a long time. I need to get it done. Ah, uh, Leo's out there. What else? The next card is this one. Like I said, you're taking charge. You are, um, you know, getting behind the wheel. You want to bring your life back on track. You want to have the power of your life, of your life. Yes, from this, you want to change the situation. You don't want to be here anymore. Money is a huge factor. There might have, uh, there might be an opportunity which you're contemplating, hmm? which will change things, which will, uh, you know, take you on the path of success. Make you stable again or bring about that stability because I don't see it previously. Okay, it's not there, but there is something which you want to hold on to because it sure has a potential to change your life. Yes, again, a Taurus energy. What else? Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian, you have been it just stood out like this, you know, you're thinking it through. There was a lot of stagnancy. There is a lot of uh, time you put in just thinking about it. It's because even in the center of the reading is the hermit. You're trying to figure things out. Trying to go within and ask the question, what is it that I want? Internally as well. The hermit goes internally to ask. Yeah? Ask the questions which is needed to be asked. Sometimes people just ignore 
and really just go with the flow. But sometimes you need to go within, take the time off from whatever is happening outside and assess. Assess what is going on in your life. You will get the answers. Because this is in limbo and you're about to change it. You're taking charge of your life. Yes, Nine of Pentacles. Again, this person is um, you know, looking at their... I want to say abundance. Because all, all the coins around, how, how they will be stable in life again. How will they be able to enjoy the luxuries of life, if that makes sense. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with the Virgo energy. Moving on, what is your last card please? Leo's anger, what is your last card please? Your last card is this one though. I'm very adamant. You made up your mind. And you're going to go with it. Yes, you are turning the wheel around. It's about time. There is nothing which is going to stop you from turning that wheel. Okay? Like I said, with the first card, six of wands, you are on the right track. Lovely. Because whatever is being offered to you, it is something which, you know, you want to grab onto because it's in reverse. You're liking. You're liking how things are moving. And you are very much... Um, it's very much promising. Okay, what is out there, it is something which is uh, getting your attention because you feel there is a potential to bring about that change in your life. And nothing anybody says is going to stop it. Stop you from taking charge of your life because you're going to grab onto that opportunity. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy or probably a Sagittarius energy. The wheel is about to turn for you and you are initiating it. I'm going to stop here. This is Marishi, you're my channel to look at. Until next time, bye-bye.